Yo, 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 what's up, you guys? This is Apex Boom. Welcome back to another video. Today's video will be a detailed review of Feather Mobile. As you guys may know, this is the Supreme app that recently came out a few weeks ago, and a few of you have requested that I do a review on it. So here you go. Now, I want to say this app is currently available on the Apple App Store for $25 or $24.99, whichever way you want to look at it. Still the same thing, but it's currently available through the Apple App Store, and I'm not sure when it will be available for Android, but let's get right into the review. So here we have the task configuration section. Here you can stop all your tasks, start them, edit them, delete them, and even solve capture. Now in the top right hand corner, you have the big green button. This starts all of your tasks. Then next beside that, you have the big red button, which stops all of your tasks. Then next beside that button, you have the big white button. These buttons are big, but you know what I mean. You have the white button. This deletes all of your tasks upon request. It'll make sure you're sure first. And if you're definitely sure, then you can delete your task. You can individually start and stop each task as well just by simply tapping the green icon that goes red. But when you tap it again to stop it, it goes back green. You can edit your task as you can see what I'm doing here. So if you have a concurrent task that you want to, oh wait, I think I want a different color or I want to try for something different, you can change the color of it. Or you saw the last second, it has more retail. I mean, more resale, I'm sorry. If it has more resale, you can come over here and quickly change it and save your settings and you'll see boom, just like that. Everything's saved nice, swiftly and quickly for you to get your task started back up again. Now right here, this is where you can solve your capture. To the left of the big green button, we have for, th this is for capture basically. But right now, as for US, we don't have to worry about that. This is more for Europe, and Japan, which have to still solve capture because I'm assuming there's no capture bypass currently available yet. I'm not sure, not quote me on that, do not quote me, but that's just what I think. Now, if you're in US, you're still more than welcome to use capture. I still run a few uh, tasks without capture bypass enabled, but for the majority of my tasks, I have capture bypass enabled. Next, we have the profile section. Here, you can create as many tasks as you want to your heart's content. Although, I will say as a heads up, create a maximum of five tasks when you're running tasks. This to ensure that everything goes smoothly, that no lag is experienced to make your overall experience even better. Now, if you want to run a whole lot of tasks, expect many delays, a lot of errors, and things of that nature. Even from the developers, they say you should only run a maximum of five tasks for the best chances of copying. Now, with that being mentioned, I would say create as many profiles as you want to but cycle them out if you want to from week to week if you want just to i guess use all of your profiles but here of course you know you go through the entire process of creating your profile as you can see i'm just putting in a bunch of bs a whole bunch of just random stuff as you'll see um nothing too serious i'm just showing you guys what it's like to create your profile of course you want to put in everything your phone number um your address obviously you guys know you guys have done this before i think now and then you want to go to your credit card and all that good stuff and put in all your information all of that stuff is basically self-explanatory i'm sure you guys do not need me for that you guys can do that yourselves once the profile is created you'll see that it shows up with the rest of your profiles as well you can simply delete this profile by hitting the white button if you want to edit it you hit the yellow button Now we have the drop list section or simply upcoming releases. This is one of the most important sections within the bot because this is where you would get your keywords and things of that nature directly from the source. Now it is very important to ensure your success. If you don't really know any keywords or aren't sure, you'll come directly here. Now from here, you'll see in the top right hand corner, you can refresh it if you're not sure like, oh, what's going on? I'm come, this is from last week. I need the stuff from this week. You can simply refresh it and you'll see that everything that is new and that's going to be going on for this week will appear. Now from there, you simply just click on whatever item you want. You can choose the size, choose the color, all of that good stuff. Then from there, you go over to configuring your task. So you get to set your delays, how much you want to want, run, everything of that nature. Now, this is just a sample. This is just an example. So, but all right, now this is typically what I do though. I always keep my delays in the range of between 1250 and 1500. That's what I do personally myself. This stay on the safe side. And I always use from, for my monitor delay, I use 750 always always now for capture bypass i will always have a few tasks set up with capture bypass and a few tasks set up without it just to be sure that 
um, Supreme, they haven't did anything or screwed around with Capture Bypass for a lot of bots. So that I always have a backup method just in case that the Capture Bypass doesn't work. You can never be too safe. I always want to make sure that you're treading the rope very, very lightly. Now, as you guys can see, we have a few tasks here. Remember, like I said, only run a maximum of five tasks. If you want, to, if you want success, run a maximum of five tasks. The big plus icon that you guys will see is basically a shortcut. This is where you can create your task on the fly if you want. If you don't want to use the drop list keywords, which I still strongly recommend that you do. You can come over here and put exactly what you want in, what you think the item may be, because you know how sometimes key well not well supreme they don't necessarily screw with keywords but they mainly screw with colors they throw off a lot of people sometimes with colors because you'll think it's blue but they'll use something like royal blue or some other crazy blue you never heard of a day in your life so you have to be very very cautious with that but you can use this big plus button in the middle in the bottom middle of your uh, phone screen to on the fly create any tasks that you want to Next, we have logging into Google. I'm sure some of you guys are still a little lost when it comes to that. Well, you go back to the big plus icon located in the bottom middle of your screen and to the far right, you'll see the Google icon. From here, you can sign in, put in your email address, password, all of that good stuff if you have, two-factor verification, do your thing, all of that, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. But always make sure you're signed into Google before the Supreme drop. All right, but also heading back to the big plus icon one more time in the middle, you'll see you can also create profiles on the fly if you want to. I'm pretty sure that's self-explanatory now. Here we have the home page though. This is virtually like the analytics page. You can view your successful checkouts, your failed checkouts. You can see what worked, what didn't work, sort of kind of in a way in terms of your profiles and the item that you were going for. And you can even see the time that you checked out as well. But yeah, you guys, that pretty much wraps up this review. I hope it was helpful. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Deuces.